Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another studio vlog. It's Tuesday, I've just been for like a little afternoon tea, so I'm getting into the office. Uh, well, it's like five now, but I've been working earlier as well, finishing up the mystery. We're going to put the mystery together tonight so we can post it either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, it's going really well on the graph deck though. We've actually managed to cut the new like clip art doodle page on the graph deck, which really surprised me, but it's working so I'm gonna roll with it while it's working. I might try and do some doodles on it this week, like regular multicolour doodles. I do need to get designing weekly kits for this week as well. That's like my biggest bottleneck with a graphic at the minute is that I haven't got things designed like to have it running all the time so I need to focus on designing early in the week so that I've got stuff to cut throughout the week. So that's like a priority for like a change in workflow so I'm gonna have to get used to that. But this week I want to show you a start to finish like process on the weekly kits now because it's all changed a bit now like my process and because I've been doing the mystery I've not been able to show you that so that is the focus for this week's vlog. Hoping to do three kits but I'm gonna go and cut the mystery now and we're gonna bundle it up. So we've packed the mystery, that's all ready to go tomorrow. This is everything we managed to get cut today. So it is the add-ons for two collections and a whole set of standard vertical kits. I'm also stocking more now I've got the graph tech. We basically aren't getting like any oops, so it's really efficient at the minute. I did say I was gonna show you my guillotine. I got, I think the name is under the stack. I got the Ideal uh, 1038 and it's really good. I think it's made in Germany. I got it from the German Amazon. My friend Jenny recommended it um, and it's pretty like heavy duty. It has this clamp on it. So if I push this down, it holds the papers in place that are like waiting to be cut. And then I use my other arm to pull the blade down. I can only cut maybe like 10 sheets at a time, but that's fine. It's more important to me that they're going to be accurate sheets. So having this little handle to like grip them in place. Um, makes a big difference and then it also has this so you can set the sheet size so this is the size that I have for my half sheets and it has this little knob which brings this out and I don't know like what this really does I think it's so you can catch like trimmings but I have it all the way out because the other half of my sheet falls in here when I cut it so we're having a pretty successful day I'm gonna finish my orders so that I can post them with the mystery I've only got like a handful so I'll just quickly do them now and then I want to do doodles this week on the graph deck so I'm fairly sure that I think I know how to convert, fairly sure that I think, <laughs> that's an oxymoron. I'm fairly confident that I know how to make my silhouette files work for the graph deck. It's gonna be a little bit of a conversion, but I don't think it'll be too bad. So I'm gonna do a couple of those now and then I can get those cutting while I pack orders. But I'm gonna make a drink first. So I've got some doodles that I designed for the silhouette, so I'm going to try and convert those. These are like unreleased ones. The reason I didn't release them is because I don't know what screw they need to be, so I need to grab the old doodles. I've got my box of doodles, so I need to go through and pick some screws that I'm going to reuse. Tom hates that I reuse the screws. I think they are meant to stay like unique numbers, but if I've got a divider made, I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> So basically got 46 through 253 are all pink ones. So I'm gonna reuse those skews. So I need to fix the skew on this because when I made it, I didn't know what it was gonna be. So that's 46. And these sheets may be a bit close together, but we'll see. So this is the deco page from one of the kits. I'm just like reusing this template. So that's how it fits. So if I rearrange this, save that, does that? So I've got my file put together, I'm gonna print them and um, I, I think it will work. It's the same way that I'm doing the doodles in the kits now, so I can't see there being a problem. This is the pants design, and these are the cut lines. So let's just put one through.
so it cut really well. I don't really know the best way to show you. We've been using a torch to like, doesn't really show that well on camera. You can kind of see how even the cut is and then it's the same in like every quadrant. I think you can see. So yeah, this is like a perfect cut. So the graphic can do doodles, <laughs> yay. But yeah, I'm really impressed with how this cuts. Um, so basically, I feel like everything that I thought about the Graphtec and like the intricate stickers and the doodles and stuff in the first couple of weeks was wrong. <laughs> so don't believe me when I tell you things is basically the moral. I'm just like figuring stuff out as I go, but yeah, this is a really good cut. So doodles will be a Graphtec job. I'm wondering if scripts will work now. I didn't even tell you how I fixed it, did I? I had the rollers in the wrong position. I needed to have the right hand roller further in and I think it was affecting how the paper was being held flat like I think there was more tension on this side and it was pulling it weird anyway I think I fixed it now and everything it's cut since has been really good so I'm gonna make some doodle files do these orders and I'll let you know how we got on but very confident with this So I'm just cutting the final sheets so that I can do new releases. A couple of the sheets I didn't get around to like fully stocking so I've just cut like one offs for now. These are actually still cutting at the minute as I speak. But I've been trying to cut like the same sheet sizes at once so I haven't got to move the thing on the guillotine that like keeps the size consistent. So I'm going to do the fashion add on now which is like the four squares on a page. This is actually how I used to have the fashion add on and then I changed it when we did like the long one and now we're back to the square but I'm basically just like measuring where I want it to go moving the adjustable thing to fit and I will like adjust this if it's not right I'm hoping at some point I'll just like learn the numbers but right now I don't know the numbers although that's almost perfect then I'll tweak it a little bit and then cut some more and see how close it is it's never like miles off, so these aren't going to become oop sheets just because they're not quite the right size. For this week, we've got three new collections and I've stocked uh, two of them. So I'll probably work on the other one tomorrow. And we've got eight doodles, which are fully stocked. I'm very excited about those because doodles um, are like super fussy. Not as fussy as scripts, but like very fussy still. So I've also got the washi to cut, which I haven't done before, but I'm thinking I'll cut it in half and then in threes and that'll be easiest. But the sheet is just a little bit taller now. I get six on a page instead of seven. So like I said, this page is the one that's cutting now. It's still a little bit fussy. I'm definitely getting oops of this sheet, whereas like I'm not really getting oops of kits. But I think that's okay because I would rather have oops of like one quarter sheet and get through like a big batch of kits and trust that they're correct than have these kind of stickers like intertwined in the kits and potentially have like oops for every sheet. <laughs>
so I've been collating kits this morning. New releases have just gone up. Um, the only one I haven't done is Game On because I haven't finished cutting it yet. Minis are just cutting now. They should all be done when this last batch is cut. So we are on 46 of 60. I may need to cut some more of these because with Oops, I don't think I've quite got enough. But all of the mini full boxes are done. This is so satisfying. I've got my doodles all counted and put away. I think I'll work on doodle restocks over the weekend because the files are pretty quick to put together um, and there's a lot of doodles that are out of stock. I did cut the washi. I cut a lot of it wonky. <laughs> this is my first time doing it so I'm gonna have to recut these. Well I think it's usable but I'd probably feel better if I redid them. It's like three sheets. I think the rest of them are not. Well they're cut kind of wonky too. Oh why? I think I tried to do too many in one go. I think I was a bit impatient. So I'll fix those at some point. But yeah, I'm just really impressed like by the position that I'm in on a Friday. Like the fact that we've done three collections, eight doodles, and almost all of it is cut. I need to collate it, which is now like the most time consuming part. But the fact that I don't have to cut anymore is just so good. I really regret not getting the F mark sooner, but we live and we learn. I just think it's gonna change like so much production wise for the shop, but obviously it is like it already has. And we did the mystery this week. Like I shipped like a hundred mystery kits. I've cut mm, probably like 150, well, by the time like today is over, I'll have stopped 150 regular weekly kits and doodles and got less oops. Like I didn't get any oops for the kits because kits are like foolproof now. Apart from the quarter sheet, the quarter sheet is the tricky one, but I'd rather have one fussy sheet and six non-fussy sheets than six baby fussy sheets. I'm gonna restock the true crime kit today and see how that cuts, because that's still in the old format but when I cut it, I hadn't made the adjustments to the machine that have like, improved things this week. So if True Crime cuts right, we'll know that the reformat wasn't necessary, but live and you learn. So we now are going to go and pick up, I got like, a, it's like a re, like an upcycled vintage dresser uh, on eBay. I won the auction for that this week. So we're gonna go and collect that, it's only like 10 miles away. Um, so I'm hopefully gonna spend some of this weekend reorganizing my house which was always my plan for when I got the graph tech there's so many things in this house that I want to like tidy declutter move things around and I've just not had the time because I've been like so bogged down with trying to stay on top of weekly releases and just like getting everything done but I think now the graph tech is here should have time to do that sort of gradually I'm gonna try and dedicate like weekends to that for a few weeks so we're gonna go and pick that up and then when I get back I want to film a video showing the new releases because I've obviously shown you guys on the vlog like the format but I feel like it's different to see it with the designs in the kits so I'm going to film that which I'm excited about maybe I can do new release videos again because the way I'm taking my photos now I take them in like the structured format from my uh, product listings but I don't really take um, I guess like stylized shots of the kits anymore. I could get back to doing that, but I don't enjoy it. I find it really hard. I don't know if it makes a difference, but if I show releases in a video, that feels easier to me than having to do like staged photos. So I might do that for a bit, see how we go. But we're gonna leave shortly, so I'll chat with you when I get back. Hello. We've got the dresser in the back. Are you excited? Uh, yeah, buzzing. Just filmed the new release video. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much. Um, it's so difficult to know like how much detail to give. I generally go through one kit in quite a lot of detail and then whiz through the rest, but I think it went well. This is my stool, by the way. Did I say I got a little stool? Um, this is to actually go where the cutting desk is but it was really handy to use it for filming. It's basically one of those like salon stools because Tom took his chair back when he stopped cutting for me. So I had just been moving this one between the desks. But one, when I've got my electric blanket on it, I have to like move everything because there's cables. And two, wheeling it in the gap between the graph tech is like very precarious. <laughs> so I was like, no, we're not doing this anymore. And it is surprisingly comfy. So now my video is done. I'm gonna cut the rest of uh, the SVK for game on. I didn't want to cut while I was filming just in case you could hear it. So we start with a test cut. I actually feel like I might want to change my blade. I haven't done it yet and I'm nervous. So it's cutting okay, but I think I can kind of see that the blade is not as sharp as it used to be. And it's been like 
a month now and I actually haven't needed to change my blade. So I think it's looking a little bit dull. So I'm going to swap it out for a new one. I did get the clean cut blades again. These were the blades I used with my other graph tech. I really liked them. I think the difference this time is that because I'm not cutting vinyl, I'm not snapping them like I used to be. But I am a little bit nervous about changing the blade. <laughs> so um, these clean cut blades, they say you should reduce the cut depth by 50% because they're meant to be sharper. I think if I can't get on with them, I'll just have to get a graph tech blade again. But I tried like OEM blades from Amazon. I don't like them. I never got on with them with my silhouettes. I feel like they skip when they cut. And I always thought I was never setting the blade correctly, but I don't know, because this is a CB09 blade holder. So I did have to adjust the blade again, uh, like the physical blade, um, to get it to cut the sheet out. So I just need to find my kiss cut again, but I think it will be seven, which tends to be like what I cut on on the silhouette, which is weird. So I'll just send another test sheet and then I need to print more of these because I tested quite a few of them. This seems perfect. So I should be able to easily break it apart, which I can. Um, for some reason, this part, like where the, um, the name of the kit is on the bottom sheet, is always the trickiest area. So I have to start from the other side and like just pull it and then it comes off. But if I started to pull it from this side, it wouldn't like come off, it's weird. But I think it might be to do with like the direction of the cut, because this is the last part that gets cut. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. All I'm gonna do is do restocks over the weekend, finish up prepping new releases, just collating the kits and putting them away. And I think that's pretty much me done for the week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've got any questions down below about the graph deck or anything in general, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.